Let's see what you're using it to self-sabotage. Doing becomes self-sabotage when we're always, when what we're doing always feels necessary. So a key component of it is that we do for others or we fix the situation that we're in. Okay, so here are your questions. Do you say yes often and then regret having said it? So self-sabotaging doers tend to seek external validation. Okay, we look out here and we mix up our self-worth with being needed. So this has the same yes a lot and doing a lot of things for others and sacrificing our own goals in the process. Second question. Are you surrounded by helpless or needy people? <laughs> Even in our guys, you're creating that. <laughs> Doers tend to take over in times of crisis. Um, this generates helplessness in others. And doers often find that our children are dependent on us, our bosses are dependent on us, our clients need us. It's like, you know, spouses burn the dinner, or they can't find the can opener, and you're running home. <laughs> Third question, do you feel hopeful that tomorrow will be better? Doers have this amazing capacity for hope, right? Um, it's always temporary. It's just until, just until the kids get into university, then I'll stop writing their essays. <laughs> just until I get that promotion, right? Just until, just until, um, Whatever, it's always just in time. And the problem is the situation isn't temporary because we're birthing the situation. We're actually the doing that's creating it. Is your life so busy that you have no choice but to keep doing it? <laughs> Self-sabotaging doers find themselves in situations that make doing appear to be essential. So for example, we might have such a low-paying job that we need to take on a part-time job in order to make the bills, meet the bills, right? We have so much debt that it's necessary to work all these other jobs in order to pay the debt. Um, our business models fail us and leave us trying to scramble to make new sales every single time. So doing just becomes this necessary thing in life and we don't have time for any other creative solutions. Okay, here's a good one, your fifth question. Okay. Does a crisis always seem to arise as soon as you have a touch of free time? <laughs> Suddenly a friend calls you and they've had a, an, an emergency situation and they just need you, right? Suddenly an assignment lands on your desk and you are the only person in the world who can, who can do it. Um, suddenly your children have a last minute school project and you're up till 2 o'clock in the morning pre-finishing it for them. Doers, <laughs> we're going to hand out your cards. Everybody put your hand up to your door. Remember, you can't be more than one side. 